Before I start with this chapter on creating scenarios for testing software applications, I would like to mention that in my previous video, I have discussed how to create scenarios for any registration form as per the requirement document. But this chapter mainly focuses on two specific fields that we found in any registration form of the delivery apps where a mobile number is the compulsory option for sign up. Since we all know that for any delivery application, a phone number is required for sign up, in this video, we will focus on only the field for mobile number input and confirming the OTP and how to write scenarios for this case. I will give you some idea of how to create scenarios and put them in real time testing the application. By taking a few examples from real delivery apps, I'm going to tell you what other scenarios could be created to test. Like for example, Amazon, Burger King, Domino's or Pizza Hut, all these apps require mobile numbers in order to sign up and choose delivery options. Keeping these in mind, let's see what other tests could be executed. Let's say I have downloaded some delivery app on my mobile phone and now I'm going to register my account. Say after I have downloaded the app and signed up, I need to enter my mobile number into the mobile number field to verify my account. For any delivery app, the mobile number is a necessary step and you need to enter it in order to register for buying things for delivery to your home door. So now let's talk about what are the various scenarios the users might face while entering the number. Technically, in order to test this field, you need to enter first the valid mobile number and then the invalid mobile number. Invalid in the sense means you need to enter the incorrect country code. Applying the correct country code according to the localized applications should be accepted. Otherwise, it will show an error message. So you need to make sure before testing that the country code is correct for the application under test along with a valid phone number in order to execute the test. So for verifying the phone number field, what are the possible scenarios that could be created? Try to think from a user's point of view and figure it out. You may end up verifying with the invalid phone number that is wrong code, which will show you the error message invalid phone number. Verify with a valid number. This case is positive and it should be accepted. Next, verify the mobile number field by only using numbers. So try putting characters or alphabets. It shouldn't work. Then verify by clicking on the mobile number field to see if the keypad appears or not. So verify by putting the phone number in landscape mode and check if that works or not. If you are testing the application in more than one language, say if using different numbering systems as per the requirement of the application under test, for example, if the numbers are in Hindi and English or say Japanese or Spanish, you need to switch this on the operating system for choosing the language. For example, then write the scenario like this. Verify the mobile field by entering numbers in Hindi language or say Spanish language, etc. And it should be accepted. So here are the scenarios for the mobile number field that you need to create. First, verify signing up with an invalid phone number, for example, 2456789, etc. Second, verify signing up with a valid phone number, for example, 2016789, etc. Third, Verify that it only accept numbers, not any characters or symbols. Fourth, verify by clicking on the mobile number placeholder to see if the number keypad appears or not. Fifth, verify by signing up in landscape mode instead of portrait mode and check if that works or not. Sixth, verify the mobile field by entering numbers in Hindi language or any specified language that is required. Seventh, after entering the valid mobile number in the mobile number field, 
click enter to see if the one time OTP appears or not. Now I am going to talk about the OTP field and creating some possible scenarios by analyzing the functionality of it. There are few things that we need to know about the verification of the OTP number field and how it works in some applications. Please note, this is just an example of delivery application registration form. Not necessary that all applications has the same functionality. So based on your application under test, create scenarios accordingly. First, when we enter a valid code number to register, we immediately receive one-time OTP number via mobile text in the same number. This is done in order to identify the authentication of the person who is registering for delivery and other purchases. So this step is very important and it should be correctly tested. So from here, we are getting our first scenario that is entering the phone number to receive the one-time OTP. Now, the OTP number that we received via text, we will enter into the OTP field and that is the valid OTP. By putting the valid OTP number, we will check whether it gets accepted or not and it should be accepted. So, the first scenario to test the OTP field is Verify by entering the valid OTP number. Let's say the validity of the OTP number for the application under test expires after 10 minutes. So now in order to test the functionality of the OTP field, let's create a scenario to test. You can create a test scenario to check the validity for 10 minutes. Test one time in between 10 minutes, that is 5 minutes, and another time after 10 minutes, that is at 11 minutes, to see whether it works as expected or not. This is important. So how will you write it? Verify that the OTP is valid only for 10 minutes. Test at 5 minutes and test at 11 minutes. This is also called testing within the boundary levels as mentioned for time check. Another important scenario is if the application has two language options, let's say English and Hindi both, then you must create a scenario to check that with both the languages testing and executing them separately. So write, verify the OTP by entering numbers in Hindi, verify the OTP by entering the numbers in English and so on. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.